Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. I got here at 6 a.m. to record and kill this booty workout for you. It's so good. Um, honestly, I just finished the ovulatory phase and I'm kind of on the first day of luteal, so I still have energy. Um, so I did more of like a some heavy stuff, some around eight rep range, and then I burned it out at the end. So um, get ready to feel a little glute burn and grow those gains. Let me know how you like it. Um, comment below. Let me know how it goes for you and make sure you subscribe. It helps my channel a lot and I want you to be part of my family. I'll see you in the workout. Let's flourish, flow, and get fit. Hey, welcome to my 6 a.m. glute workout. I'm gonna start by warming up my glutes with a cable kickback. Glutes do extension, so we'll isolate the glutes by leaning forward and kicking back into our glute. Let's try it out. Lean forward on the machine, make sure my hips are square, my core is tight, zip it up. Kick back, squeeze into the glute, and then I'll just kind of bend my knee and hover it next to my right knee, then kick it back, squeeze. I'm gonna hold it there for a second before I return. Nice. Inhale, exhale. Definitely don't discount the breath. The breath to movement connection is so important. And that exhale on effort when we squeeze the butt back really helps us to get that good solid contraction that we want because we're really getting the butt activated for other movements throughout the rest of the workout which is why you do this before you can also do it after your big lifts as more assistance type supplemental work either are great but try not to rush it we'll do the other side as well so switching my ankle weight I'll just stop that video right there. I definitely don't want to bore you. I pretty much do the same exact thing, three sets of 15, um, and then we go to the next exercise. Let's do it. I also just wanted to show you how I set up for the hip thrust by lifting the barbell off the rack. Only do this if lifting 135 pounds in a deadlift is like super lightweight for you. Load the rest of the weights that you want, and then you'll pull the barbell into your hips with a little bar pad for cushion. Physically walk your feet in, and then you'll place your elbows up on the block. Use the leverage to press your hips up. Get in alignment. Your shoulder blades should be at the height of the block or the bench. Tuck your chin. See how I'm digging my heels in. My toes are lifted. I'm pushing my knees out against the band. And your back stays flat the entire time. At the top, you want to post through your pelvic tilt tilt by squeezing your butt massively and tucking the tailbone kind of like through your knees and knit your ribs down to keep that flat back. Those are really awesome cues for the hip thrust. All right, let's do some dumbbell step ups. I'm gonna hold a 25 pound dumbbell here at my chest. One foot on the block. What you wanna do is shift all your weight into the foot that's on the block. Get really light onto the bottom left toes. Hinge forward at your hips. That's gonna help you load your glutes with a nice flat back. Engage your lower belly, drive up. Just tap with the other foot and then same thing down. Don't just plop down, slow down. And then make sure you're in front of a mirror so you can see that the knee is going to track straight over your second toe, second and third toe. You don't want the knee to cave in. And then repeat. The trick is making this more of a butt exercise than a quad exercise is hinging at the hips. You can see how before I stand, I reach my torso forward and then I press through my foot loading the back body, loading the glutes, loading the hamstrings to pull me all the way up to standing. My back foot does nothing here. That way my right glute really has the power to take over. Of course, my quads are gonna work a little bit, but if I was standing more upright the whole time, it would definitely be much more primary quad than glute. So both are great. And yeah, then I'll do the other side, but once again, um, don't wanna bore you, so I just repeat the same thing. Now we're going to do reverse hypers. So I have my ankle weights, my mini band. You're gonna place your hips just on the edge of the bench. Hang on to it. Point your toes, squeeze your butt already, and then lift your legs to like the height of your body 
instead of, you don't wanna overdo it. And then from there, legs out to the side, together and down, that's one. And this is good to do high repetition, high rep. So about 15 or more if you want. Something else to keep in mind when you're doing this is what's happening with your core. You don't wanna back bend and arch your back a lot. You wanna make sure that you're tucking your hip bones into the bench, almost posterior pelvic tilting a little bit, and your core is active. Like my belly button is lifting up away from the bench. You can't really see it, but there's almost like a tiny little space between my core and the bench because I'm pulling my core so much, it's so activated that I have a little bit of that hollow body created shape and that's going to give the stability for your butt and your hamstrings to do the primary work. So that's this exercise. Hope you enjoy it and get a good glute burnout from it. All right, killing it. Last but not least, frog pumps. So I'm going to use the band for this too. You don't have to um, over my knees and then you can go pretty heavy because it's a small range of motion. So load the dumbbell on your hips. I'm using a 50. You're gonna put your feet together. There's not really a graceful way of doing this. Lower onto your back and return to that heels together, knees apart. Drive your knees out against the band and you have leverage with the bottom edge of your foot. From there, hip thrust. Squeeze your butt, lengthen your tailbone at the top, like really squeezing and tucking the hips under. And then lower down, tap the floor, drive up. Squeeze for a second and lower. This is a little bit of a burnout set, so I'm gonna do 25. Inhale, exhale on effort. Nice. Squeeze both cheeks evenly and you got this. I love, love, love using frog pumps at the end of a glute workout just to get that final bit of pump. It feels like a crazy burn. If you do it right, you do it slow and really find the mind-muscle connection squeezing your butt. Don't discount the mind-body connection. Be fully present in your workouts, um, especially when you're doing glutes because other muscles can tend to take over, especially as women, we tend to be quad dominant. So squeeze your butt. Try it again and again and practice like crazy, you will get there. Let me know what you think of this workout. I'm so glad you joined me and watched the whole way through and make sure you subscribe to my channel so I can see you next time.